body weight. So for every day, for the next seven days, I'm going to ask you to weigh yourself every single day. Now for some, this may be really daunting and for others, you may have completely stepped away from the scales and made it a kind of personal vendetta to not step on the scales. I want to help change your thinking from the weight determining your worth because first of all, you were so much more than that damn number on that scale. Purely look at the scales as data. They will fluctuate every hour, every day, whether you're on your period, whether you're stressed, if you had a carby meal the night before. So much of our dislike towards the scales and weighing ourselves is attaching too much of our self-worth to it. And I have been there. I have completely let the scales dictate how the rest of my day goes. And I got to a point where I said, you know what? This is pure data. It allows me to see, okay, what's happening in my body? How much water am I retaining? Is this reflecting my stress? But also weighing yourself consistently over a long period of time, you start to see the trend. Now the trend is different from each data point. So for example, say we have a graph like this and we enter in your, your daily weight over the next four weeks or four months. Now you might see your weight kind of spike up, come down, spike up, come down, spike up, come down. But what's happening is that the trend of your body weight is actually coming down, even though you might have some, some spikes. So you've probably been there, you've been losing weight and then one day you weigh yourself in and your weight's spiked up and you just, you either start crying or you just get really angry at yourself and you beat yourself up over a stupid number on the scale that could be completely related to anything but fat gain. So when we talk about fat and we talk about weight, they're completely two different things. So the scales cannot determine how much fat you are carrying. It only looks at your overall body weight. Have you pooed? That takes a massive difference in how you weigh in the scales. How much water have you drunk before you jumped on the scales? Have you taken a morning wee? <laughs> so all of these things impact your body weight. But what impacts your body fat takes a lot longer for us to see. And that's where the trend of your body weight is going to help us, whether you're trying to lose weight or increase your weight total. So let's try to switch your thinking around from being scared of the scales to jumping on it, writing it down. It's just a data point. It's just a number. But let's get educated. Let's see how much our body fluctuates. And if you're a female, start tracking your menstrual cycle. It is so important to understand what's happening in your body. The week leading up to your period, your energy's low. You're going to experience cramps. You're actually going to experience intense cravings for some women. And you're metabolism actually allows you 100 to 200 calories extra. Also, what we might see on the scales is that week leading up to your period and whilst you're on your period is that your body weight will bump up. And this has nothing to do with the effort that you're putting in. And then what can happen is that once you finish your period or the last day of your period, your weight might start to come back down and balance out. So use this as a learning curve. Weigh yourself in the morning. If you can, do it naked or just do it with a sports bra, shorts on, no shoes. Um, try to go to the toilet first if you can, just so we get a consistent measuring. Now, if you work night shifts and you don't necessarily weigh yourself in the morning, just weigh yourself first thing when you wake up. Whenever you wake up, that's technically your morning. That's when you start your day. Jump on the scales, log your weight and do that consistently.